Hello, hello, cozy listeners, cozy science listeners. Grab your coffee, snuggle up, and let's dive into the latest discoveries from the world of science. It is Monday, and in today's morning coffee segment, we have 10 fascinating research topics that span from the mysteries of electrons to the quirky habits of mosquitoes. So, let's kick off this cozy morning journey with some groundbreaking science that's bound to stir your curiosity, but after a very short intro. So, let's start with article number 10, because remember, it's top 10. So, article number 10. Have you ever wondered if letting your child sleep in your bed might affect their development? Well, fear not. A recent study found that bed sharing has no impact on children's psychological growth. Researchers have debunked the myth that co-sleeping leads to emotional or cognitive issues in kids. In fact, the findings suggest that snuggling up with your little one is perfectly harmless. And why does this research matter? Well, in a world full of parenting advice, it's reassuring to know that some of those worries can be laid to rest. Bed sharing is often a cultural or practical choice, and knowing it doesn't hinder development gives parents more confidence in their decisions. Speaking of sleep, let's drift into the science of good rest for adults as well. Sweet dreams, the key to healthy living for overweight adults with article number 9. Have you ever wondered if your sleep habits are affecting your waistline? Research shows that maintaining good sleep habits is particularly important for overweight adults, because poor sleep can disrupt metabolism and contribute to further weight gain, making it harder to shed those extra pounds. Because as obesity rates rise globally, understanding the connection between sleep and weight management could help millions. By prioritizing good sleep, overweight individuals might find it easier to reach their health goals. So, next time you are tempted to binge watch another episode, remember that your bed is calling for a reason. Now, that we have talked about resting well, let's switch gears and see how fascinating, or rather how fasting, which is not fascinating, could impact your health. With article number 8. Have you ever wondered if fasting is as beneficial as it's hyped up to be? Researchers have dug deep into this trend, revealing both benefits and downsides. While Fasting or fasting can improve metabolic health and extend lifespan, it may also lead to muscle loss and nutrient deficiencies, if not done properly. Because with intermittent fasting becoming a popular health trend, it's crucial to understand its effects fully. And this research helps individuals make informed decisions about their fasting routines, balancing the benefits with potential risks. So, and if you want to read a bit more about this one and how to do it correctly, well, you can go to the description section below and find the article number 8. So, now let's move to the next one. Feeling a bit hungry after all that fasting talk? Well, let's take a step back from food and look into how children connect with nature. With article number 7, Nature versus Nurture the socio-economic link to children's love for nature. Have you ever wondered what influences a child's connection to nature? Surprisingly, it's not just where they live, but their socio-economic background. This research reveals that children from higher socio-economic statuses tend to have a stronger connection to nature, possibly due to greater access to green spaces and outdoor activities. Because 
Understanding the factors that shape our relationship with nature can help in designing educational programs that actually can bridge these gaps, ensuring all children have the opportunity to foster love for the natural world. From the greater outdoors, let's shrink our focus down to the microscopic world inside our bodies. With article number 6. Have you ever wondered how your body gets rid of dead cells? A new study identified a surprising mechanism that our bodies use to clear out these cellular remnants. Instead of being removed by the immune system alone, some cells so to say self-destruct in a way that signals others to clean up the mess. Why does this research matter? Well, this discovery could pave the way for new treatments for diseases where cell clearance is impaired, such as in certain neurodegenerative disorders. It's fascinating glimpse into the body's natural housekeeping. And as we dive deeper into the microscopic, let's turn our attention to the world's fastest microscope and its electrifying discoveries with article number 5. Have you ever wondered if we could actually see electrons' emotions? Well, now with the world's fastest microscope, we can. Researchers have developed a groundbreaking tool that allows us to observe electrons in action capturing their movements in real time. With this innovation, we could revolutionize the fields of physics and chemistry, leading to new discoveries in how materials behave on the smallest scale. It's like watching the dance of the universe in real time. Now that we are in the realm of the incredibly small, let's leap to the incredibly complex quantum computing with article number 4. Cracking the code, the quest for quantum supremacy. Have you ever wondered what it would sorry, have you ever wondered what it would take to build a quantum computer powerful enough to break today's encryption? Researchers are making strides towards this goal, bringing us closer to a new era of code breaking quantum computers. These implications for cybersecurity are enormous. While it's exciting to think about the possibilities, it also raises concerns about the future of data privacy. Quantum computing could change everything from secure communications to financial transactions. Now, and from the futuristic realms of quantum computing, let's get back to something more down to earth, quite literally, with mosquitoes. With article number 3, the heat-seeking mosquito how infrared guides them to us. Have you ever wondered how mosquitoes always seem to find you? I literally see one in front of me now. But it turns out they have a keen sense for infrared radiation, allowing them to detect body heat and zero in on their targets. Why does this research matter? Well, understanding how mosquitoes track humans could lead to better repellents or new ways to prevent mosquito-borne diseases. It's a small step towards making summer evenings a bit more enjoyable and bite-free. So, next time you feel like a mosquito magnus, remember, it's not just your charm, it's your body heat too. And as we consider how mosquitoes track us, let's take a moment to ponder how social ranks develop in both the animal kingdom and our own with our score number 2. Winners and Losers, the social hierarchy game. So, have you ever wondered why some individuals always seem to come out on top, while others do not? Well, researchers into the so-called winner and loser effects show that these patterns can strongly influence social hierarchies, not just in animals, but in humans as well. And why does this research matter? Well, by understanding these dynamics, we can better grasp how social structures form and persist. These insights is valuable, not just in understanding animal behavior, but also in addressing social inequality in human societies. And now, for the final and most revolutionary research of the day, let's talk about the earliest sounds of language, with article number one. Baby's first sounds, the early stages of speech development. 
So, what do we have over here for you? Well, let's focus. Have you ever wondered how babies start to speak? Researchers have found that the progress in baby speech development is more intricate than previously thought, with early sounds playing a crucial role in later language skills. And why does this research matter? Well, dear listeners, this understanding could lead to better interventions for children at risk of speech delays, giving every child a better start in life. It's a reminder that even the smallest voices have the potential for greater things. And that's the wrap-ups for today, morning coffee. From the microscopic dances of electrons to the earliest sounds of human language. Today's research has given us plenty to think about. Now it's your turn. Let's answer the question. So which research intrigues you the most today? Let us know in the comments or on our social media. Is it the heat-seeking mosquitoes? Or maybe the mysteries of quantum computing? We would love to hear your thoughts. For me personally, it's the last one about babies and the sounds, because I'm a linguist and I love everything connected to the linguistics. And before we go, let's take a quick look back in history with On This Day segment. So, in 1930, Philo Farnsworth as just 24 years old, presented a system that laid the groundwork for modern televisions. Imagine, without this invention, our co-designed podcast might not even exist. And in 1833, uh, no, 1883, what is wrong with my numbers? 1883, the volcanic eruption of Krakatoa was so powerful that it was heard across continents, causing a global climate impact. It's a stark reminder of nature's raw power. And otherwise, that's it for today, folks. Stay curious. Do not forget to do it. And do not forget to stay updated. And of course, to stay cozy. And we'll see you again on Friday with more exciting top 10 discoveries. James, signing off. Pull a bit, cozy science is here. News and section at this day from Cozy Science News. Cozy Science News. News. News and section at this day from Cozy Science News.